These weapons are absolutely fantastic, literally. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 fantasy weapons from film. At last, the gathering. To keep things fair, we will not be including superhero gizmos. Plus, any weapon from a fantasy film, magic or not, is still fair game. Please be advised, the following clip contains mature and graphic content. If I die, it will fall upon you to avenge me. Number 10, Triple Sword, The Sword and the Sorcerer. Do you understand, Talon? I understand. Kicking off our list is the film in which a mercenary discovers that he's got royal heritage and must stop an evil sorcerer from conquering his land. Helping him out is his father's blade. No ordinary piece of steel, it's actually a ridiculously awesome triple-bladed sword, complete with the ability to launch its two side blades at far-off foes, making it a ranged weapon. Number 9, Golden Staff, Forbidden Kingdom. This mystic staff is a magical weapon that once belonged to the mischievous monkey king who was turned to stone. A weapon that's faithful to its owner, the staff sends a boy from the present back to ancient China in order to save its owner. An unbreakable and remarkably powerful and agile weapon, it's most famous for spurring a winner-takes-all fight between Jet Li and Jackie Chan. You tried to steal the staff for the warlord? No, fool! I'm on a mission to find the seeker of the staff. Number 8. The Glaive, Krull. Another ancient magical weapon, this one is a 5-tip retractable bladed boomerang. Resting in a high mountain cave within a pile of goo, it can only be wielded by the Chosen One. For only the right man can retrieve the glaive. Am I that man? I wish I knew. Powerful and deadly, it's able to slice through almost any enemy foolish enough to get in its way. Remarkably, it can be controlled telepathically by its user and move like a helicopter. You may want to wear steel gloves though when you're trying to catch it. Number 7, Trident, The Little Mermaid. Say goodbye to your sweetheart. Babies, my poor little poopsies. Didn't expect to see a Disney cartoon here, did ya? Well, this is the weapon of Princess Ariel's father, King Triton, the ruler of the seas. You're a mermaid! I don't care. So help me, Ariel. I am going to get through to you. And if this is the only way, so be it. Daddy. Trident's Shrimp Fork is a hotly contested item, as its user has the power to control the sea, fire energy bolts, change mermaids into humans, and uh, create rainbows. You know, for special occasions. Number 6, the Epirus Bow, Immortals. This bow was forged from the wood of a divine tree and was lost on Earth during a battle between the gods and the titans. As a weapon of the gods, it fires arrows of magical energy, which are powerful enough to shatter stone walls. Since its arrows are made of pure energy, gravity isn't a factor. This means that the bolts fire in a completely straight line, destroying anything or anyone they strike. Neato. Number 5, Sting, the Lord of the Rings. This ancient blade was forged long ago by elven blacksmiths. Discovered in a troll cave, along with Glamdring, which became Gandalf's sword. Though it's technically just a large knife, it made a perfect short sword for hobbit-sized hands. Here, yeah, this is about your size. What makes this blade so remarkable is that it glows blue when orcs or goblins are near. And it's times like that, my lad when you have to be extra careful. Sting's journey continued when Bilbo gifted it to his nephew Frodo. I have never used a sword in my life. And I hope you never have to. And if you do remember this, true courage is about knowing not when to take a life, but 
with the spare one. Number four, the Atlantean, Conan the Barbarian. This sword, wielded by a beefy Arnold Schwarzenegger, is a blade forged by the Giant Kings with secrets they stole from the god Krom. Growing up, Conan was taught that he should only ever trust the steel in his hands, making the Atlantean his best friend. However, he eventually discovers that the blade's true power lies in the confidence and conviction it bestowed in Conan, giving him the will and power he needed to succeed. Number 3, The Elder Wand, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2. Also known as the Death Stick, it is one of the three fabled Deathly Hallows. Made by death itself from the Elder Tree, it is the most powerful wand ever created. When reunited with the Resurrection Stone and the Cloak of Invisibility, it would make its owner the master of death. Aside from its sheer deadly power, it can do what no other wand can and can only be handled by someone who is capable of accepting death. Number 2, Medusa's Head, Clash of the Titans. With the world being threatened by the forces of Hades, Perseus seeks out Medusa in order to claim her head as a weapon. An immortal creature from the underworld, Medusa is a half-serpent woman whose gaze instantly turns her victims to stone. Beheaded, her head functions as the ultimate fantasy doomsday weapon, literally petrifying all who look upon it. Number 1, Excalibur, Excalibur. I am king, and this is the Excalibur, sword of kings from the dawn of time. Taking the top spot on our list is THE legendary sword, otherwise known as the Sword of Power. A blade that could only be plucked by the rightful king, Arthur retrieved the ancient blade years after Merlin received it from the Lady of the Lake. This blade is known for symbolizing its user's royal right and for being completely indestructible. Agree with our list? Which fantasy weapon is your favorite? For more entertaining top 10s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Woo! <sighs> 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 That's nasty.